All right, let's see how to deploy an app on Google App Engine but using a command line launcher instead of using the Google App Engine launcher interface which is this one. We are not going to use this one, we are instead going to use command line launcher, uh, sorry command line application, this particular file called appcfg.py. So um, the first thing that you want to do in order to deploy an app is you need to go to cloud.google.com um, let me open a new incognito okay so once you have cloud.google.com open click on sign in and sign in using your google credentials as you would to any other Google applications. Once you are signed in um, over here you should actually get the prompt which says go to my console a link. We'll wait for the page to finish loading. Hopefully we should then have it. Okay here you go. Now over here uh, on the console what you have to do is actually create a project and note down the project ID that is allocated or you actually selected yourself. Um, so I go on create project and you notice that this particular project ID is randomly generated for me. I can go ahead and type something on my own if I want to but I will leave it randomly generated. Uh, I just clicked on refresh and it generated a whole new ID for me. I'm going to give the same name to the project uh, instead of having a different name just for the sake of it. It's not required but I'm just going to do it and then click on create. So you can see over here it says um, create project noted branch 816 so a new project is being created. Um, this one was a previous project that I created for one of my previous tutorials. Uh, okay, Noted branch 816 has now been created and I can see it in the list of projects. Here it is. So now uh, go to Google App Engine Launcher and create an app over here. Create new application. Give it the same name and select the location where you want to save the files for this particular application. I'm going to select my documents and inside over there I have created Google App Engine folder and I'm going to just leave it like that. Now automatically inside Google App Engine folder a new folder will be created by this particular project uh, application names and uh, inside that particular folder which has been created with this particular application's name I'll have the rest of the files. Um, when you are creating you can select the runtime environment I'm going to use Python and the port number on which you want to run the admin instance and the normal local instance so I'm going to leave it to 10080 and just click create okay so now it has been created now um, in order to deploy so now if I go to uh, this particular app which is noted branch 816 dot appspot dot com it should say hello world oh okay alright so actually no files have been put in there that's why it is showing me 404 not found that's great so we have something new to experiment now so um, if I actually go ahead and deploy this particular app I'm going to use okay now um, once you have Google App Engine actually installed on your machine, um, you have to go to the location where Google App Engine is installed, which is generally C Drive, Program Files, x86, Google, Google App Engine. You have to navigate to that on your command line and then um, over there fire this particular command, which I'll show you now in a moment. The other way that you can do it is you can actually go ahead and uh, um, open this particular folder in explorer so if you just go to c drive program files google google app engine and over here just press shift on your keyboard and right click somewhere and click open command window here so this will directly open with this particular path already selected so that's how you do it now you have to fire this particular command which is appcfg.py and then say update and then you have to put the path to your uh, application folder 
which was documents google app engine and this particular folder so i'm going to again say shift and right click on it and click as uh, do copy as path and then paste it over here and then i'll press enter so now as i press enter it is communicating with google app engine cloud thing um okay now it's asking me for email address that i want to use to deploy this i'm going to enter my email address uh, that's the place where i first created the project which is this thing um, as you can see my email address okay now let me go ahead and press enter then it is asking me for password so now You'll notice nothing is being shown over here, but actually the password is being typed, so don't worry about it. As I press enter, so the password has been accepted um, and it has started deployment. Okay, so the deployment was successful, checking if updated app version is serving. Um, you know what let me go ahead and increase the text size a bit all right so you can see that deployment was successful and now if I go ahead to this particular folder uh, page it says hello world so previously it gave me 404 because there were actually no files on this particular projects instance now that the files are there, uh, the actual programming stuff, the actual code that takes care of uh, showing something on the website is there, Python code. So it is actually showing me hello world instead of giving a 404 error. So that's how you basically deploy uh, an app using command line appcfg.py utility which is located inside the google app engine folder the installation path um, this would be also there on your mac systems or if you're using it on linux or something so the method will remain same um, for documentation um, if you want to see other things that you can use you can actually just say uh, google deploy app engine apps using command line and you should have a good source of documentation which says upload your application so cloud.google.com has a very rich uh, thing so this is the one that we used appcfg.py and there is lots more that you can do this is actually the first thing when it comes to registering the application so that was it for this particular video guys thanks a lot for watching and if you have any suggestions or comments for me please do drop them in comments below do share and like this video do 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 please do subscribe to my channel um that is a really huge motivator for me to go ahead and you know create more videos because that actually shows me that people are liking my videos and they are looking forward to more stuff from me so thanks a lot and do stay tuned for more